the police have abused uh, the Prevention of Terrorism Act. And we are here discussing this new bill because of that legacy. Hmm. So the assumption here is that the police cannot be trusted with a piece of legislation that gives them extraordinary powers. Now using that as a benchmark, let's look at this law. There are some changes that this law has introduced, which not curtails police powers, but enhances police powers. So for the first time in our history, we're going to have a piece of legislation that allows a Deputy Inspector General of Police under Section 31 of the Act uh, to issue detention orders. Right, so now you move from a situation where the extraordinary power of issuing a detention order which is vested with the Minister of Defence and often the President of the Republic who holds that portfolio, you're moving that kind of power, extraordinary power, to a DIG. And if I'm not mistaken, there are about 60 DIGs and 60 odd DIGs in the country. Right, so now from a 